Homelessness is an issue we continue to closely follow here on 17 News, and by many accounts, it is the most pressing social issue facing California today. Well, today we learned that county supervisors are scheduled to vote Tuesday on a proposed location for a new low barrier shelter. 17's Aton Wallace joins us now with what this could mean for the homeless population if approved. Aton? County leaders say this plan goes hand in hand with their goal to provide the homeless with the help they so desperately need. Greg Stevens lives on the streets. I've been homeless about three years, three to four years now. He frequents the area of Golden State Avenue and O Street, the same area where the county has proposed a homeless shelter for this four and a half acre county owned property on O Street, just north of Golden State Avenue. I think it's a good idea. I think that it'd be great, you know. Great, he says, because this would be a low barrier shelter, meaning it would place fewer requirements on the homeless who may not feel comfortable going to a more traditional shelter. At this shelter, partners could stay together, pets would be allowed, and people could keep their possessions. This is the county's way of addressing an immediate need. Director of Countywide Communications Megan Pearson says if approved, the shelter could be running by the end of the year and would include services designed to help those in need. Having this facility gives us the opportunity to make a more meaningful impact. So you'll have those wraparound services like behavioral health and recovery services. Um, you can have nonprofits and the other uh, local organizations that are helping to address their their needs they're on site and they'll have caseworkers and all of the individuals that they need so that we can move them to permanent housing because that's the ultimate solution the shelter is expected to accommodate between a hundred and two hundred people and it's said to be equipped with portable showers air conditioning heating and congregation and sleeping areas that's a good idea Steven says this gives him a little more hope for a better future. Yeah, homeless are just like you and I, you know. Uh, miss a little misfortune here or there, or maybe a crossover from an addict to uh, being homeless, you know, and the families, you know, they don't catch it, so when they, get, they have these shelters, at least they have somewhere to go. Now, if you're wondering what this will cost in terms of your tax dollars, well, Pearson tells me it should be less than a million dollars to get the shelter up and running, but annual costs to maintain the shelter remain unknown. Meantime, Bakersfield Mayor Karen Goh and 3rd District Supervisor Mike Maggard issued a joint statement in which they called this a positive step forward. And again, we want to remind you, county supervisors are scheduled to vote on the proposal at their next meeting on Tuesday. In Studio A, Tom Wallace, 17 News.